before the storm this morning with mostly cloudy skies and light winds to start your day. We do have a high wind warning that goes into effect though later this afternoon for all of Western New York running through Sunday morning. Winds will gust near 60 miles per hour at times as we head toward tonight through the uh, start of the weekend. Winter storm watch in effect for Erie, Genesee, Wyoming, Chautauqua and Cattaraugus counties from 1 p.m. on Saturday through 7 a.m. on Monday for a some snow and blowing snow and then lake effect snow that will develop. Checking out the radar right now. All is quiet. There is that large complex storm system heading toward us. That's uh, going to usher in the coldest air of the season as we head into the upcoming weekend and this cold air sticking around through next week. 31 degrees winds southeast just three miles per hour, but check out later today around 11 p.m. winds gusting around 40 five to 60 miles per hour on Saturday. Winds gusting near 50 miles per hour throughout the day. Then we get into Sunday winds gusting around 35 to 40 miles per hour. So if you have the, the lake band that you're in with this uh, with the snow coming down, these strong winds travel will be extremely difficult. Once again, we'll experience some power outages tonight, especially along the Lake Erie shoreline. And then during the day on Saturday, some scattered power outages, especially over the higher elevations where some of those strong winds will occur. And then Saturday evening, the threat is there for power outages as well. So be prepared uh, to lose the power like we did the other day. The winds will not be as strong as they were for our last wind event, but still we're talking winds near 60 miles per hour today. Mostly cloudy winds increase late in the day with that rain coming in uh, as we head toward late afternoon and early this evening around 7 o'clock. We have some rain and snow in Buffalo rain overnight, changing back to snow. Snow showers off and on during the day on Saturday and then lake effect snow will develop. And look at that band. Now the winds are bringing that band over Buffalo Saturday night into early Sunday. And then as the day moves along, the band shifts southward. Uh, so the good news, the band's not going to stay in one spot uh, for a significant lake of time. The bad news is uh, the metro area will certainly see some snow and this will impact the game. Here's a closer look at snow totals as we head into the upcoming weekend. We'll go Saturday through around 930 p.m just about one to four inches of snowfall. But watch the band Saturday night and the Sunday morning, about eight inches of snow in Buffalo over toward Orchard Park. And then the snow totals in Buffalo don't move all that much, but they certainly do south of Buffalo, where you'll see more than a foot of snow across the South Towns by the time we get into Sunday evening. So for the Bills game, windy and cold with snow showers for your tailgate, that lake effect snow near the stadium for the start of the game. And then it looks like that band will be most likely over the stadium uh, toward the end of the game. Your forecast for today, mostly cloudy, that late day rain, winds on the increase, temperatures in the upper 30s. Tonight, overnight lows in the low 30s. We'll have rain, which will mix with and change over to snow with strong winds. Tomorrow, snow and strong winds, upper 30s, mid 20s on Sunday with more snow and strong winds, highs in the teens.